y'all already know i'll put you on the free food whenever there's free food tomorrow is national french fry day and huh? mcdonald's is giving away free fries of any size tomorrow only no purchase necessary ah! only eat free samples for a day all right say less so i went ahead and i went to sam club and the first thing that i got was this tiny pickle actually it's not that tiny, bro. It's actually average size. But, bro, when I ate it, bro, it tasted like a regular pickle, bro. No cap. After that, I went and I got me these cheese-flavored nuts. Bro, when I put them nuts in my mouth, bro, these taste like just like cheese. After that, I went and I got me this birthday cake-flavored popcorn that had little sprinkles inside of it. Bro, when I ate it, bro, this tastes like this tastes exactly like the Lucky Charm cereal. After that, I went and I got me this pink sparkling water, bro. I went ahead and I took a sip of that thing. Damn. I feel like I just took a shot of alcohol. After that, I found this free sample place that was serving sushi. Bro, and I ate it, bro. That sushi was good as hell, bro. No cap, man. That thing was hitting. Alright, y'all. So I decided to try some Sam's Club food. When I went to the food court, bro, I was surprised, bro. Because, bro, when I saw the menu, bro, everything on that thing cost a dollar, man. So I went ahead and I ordered my food, and the first thing that I got was this long churro. When I ate it, bro, I ain't gonna lie, bro, it was pretty good. The only problem with it, bro, that thing had a whole lot of sugar on it, bro. After I got done eating my churro, I went ahead and I tried their pizza. Bro, when I ate the pizza, bro, I ain't gonna lie, bro, it was pretty good. But, um, that pizza don't got nothing on Costco pizza. Real talk. After I got done eating that pizza, I went ahead and I tried this pretzel pizza. But when I ate it, bro, I ain't gonna lie, bro, it wasn't bad. It wasn't crazy good, but it wasn't bad. All right, y'all, so today I went to TCU because I wanted to try some college food. Bro, when I went into that cafeteria, bro, they had a full buffet in there, bro. They had pizza, they had hamburgers, bro. Bro, they even had desserts. And, bro, guess what, bro? I got all of this food for free, bro. But anyway, so I went ahead and I grabbed the hamburger and I tried it. Bro, this burger is dry and it's thick as hell, bro. It is not good, bro. It's like a 5 out of 10. After that, I went ahead and I tried the pizza, and bro, I ain't gonna lie, bro. When I ate the pizza, bro, it wasn't bad, but bro, it was cold as hell. But anyways, though, after that, I decided to try this cheesecake. Bro, when I ate it, bro, that cheesecake was good as hell, bro. No cow. But anyways, though, after I got done eating all my food, I went ahead and I took my plates, and then I put them on this cool thing that took all the plates into the back to where they can wash it. All right, y'all, so I be hearing a lot of stuff about Costco food. So you know I had to go there and try their food, right? So the first thing that I had to try was the free samples, you feel me? And man, that was good as hell. After that, I went to the food court and I ordered me a whole lot of food, bro. The first food that I had to try was a super long churro. Bro, when I ate it, bro, I ain't gonna lie, bro, I didn't like it, so I ended up spitting it out. But bro, Tell me why this bird gonna come around and take my leftovers. Anyway, so I went ahead and I tried this long piece of bread, bro. When I ate it, bro, that thing was good as hell, bro. Bro, it was stuffed with chicken inside of it, bro. After I got done eating that bread with chicken, I went ahead and I tried the Costco pizza. Bro, when I ate it, bro, that pizza was amazing, bro. That pizza's up there, bro. That pizza's competing with Domino's, bro. It's competing with Little Caesars, bro. That pizza, uh, Costco pizza's up there, bro. No cap. Alright y'all, so today I decided to try different culture food for a day. So the first culture that I had to try was my culture. I got me some African food. I got me some fufu and I got me some igususu. Bro, I ain't gonna lie bro, when I ate it, bro, that fufu and igususu was pretty good bro. It had a little spicy kick to it. After I got done eating my food, I went ahead and I went to this Indian place to try me some Indian food. And bro, let me tell you bro, they had this robot that brought me my food to me bro. But anyways, I got me this full course meal. I went ahead and I grabbed me a samosa and I dipped it in this sauce. Bro, when I ate it, bro, it was amazing, bro. That was that sauce was so good, bro. But anyways, after that, I went ahead and I tried this red chicken. Bro, when I ate it, bro, I was kind of disappointed. The chicken wasn't bad, but I expected it to taste lavish, bro, because it looked amazing. All right, y'all, so today I went to try some Ikea food. So the first thing that I got was this little cup of mashed potatoes and meatballs. When I ate it, bro, 
It was okay. Bro, mashed potatoes is a Thanksgiving food, bro. It's only good on Thanksgiving, bro. So for that, man, it got like a smooth six or seven, bro. No cap. But anyways, after that, I went ahead and I tried this hot dog that had a lot of stuff inside that I didn't even know. But when I ate it, bro, this purple fruit that it had inside tasted funny, bro. I didn't like it. Bro, what fruit is this? I ain't messing with it. I ain't gonna lie. I don't like it. So that fruit left a weird aftertaste in my mouth. And I went ahead and I poured some water in my mouth to wash it off, bro. Pizza chicken wings. What? I'm good enough. I'm not good enough. Think about shit that I should have known. So I tell him it's one of me. He making fun of me. His girl is a bum to me. Like that boy. Bro, all you did was put marinara sauce and pepperoni. I'm curious enough to. to I'm curious. I'm curious. I'm curious enough to, to, to try that. I'm curious enough to try it. So I went to KFC and I got me some chicken and I went ahead and I made the chicken pizza thing. Bro, when I got done cooking it, bro, it actually looked like real pizza, bro. No cap. But anyways, though, let's try it. This shit is way too messy, bro. It's way too messy, bro. It's way too messy and it doesn't taste that good, bro. It's not worth making, bro. So apparently they coming out with ranch flavored ice cream. You know, but ain't no way in hell. <laughs> they come up with anything, huh? Let me go try it. So I went ahead and I went to Walmart and I grabbed me the last ranch ice cream that they had in the store. Bro, when I ate it, bro, I ain't gonna lie, bro. That shit tasted horrible. Ah, oh, fuck no. No. Bro, this shit tastes like onions. Y'all already know, I'm gonna put you on the free food whenever there's free food. Tomorrow is National French Fry Day, and huh? McDonald's is giving away free fries of any size. Tomorrow only, no purchase necessary. Uh, free fries? Say less! So I went ahead and I went to McDonald's because I had to see if that TikTok was capping or not. So what on the street is I can get free fries today? Is that true? Free fry, yeah, with the cone. Uh, what's the code? I don't know. It's on the app. Okay, bet, bet, bet. I'll holler at you in five minutes. All right, so I went ahead and I went on the app and I ordered me some fries and bro, they were literally free. I went ahead and I went to go get them and bro, when I ate them, bro, bro, these fries taste amazing. You know why? <laughs> because they're free. Don't nothing taste better than free. God damn, my lips are ashy. Alright, just so I was going on YouTube shorts and I seen this dude make this giant Oreo. Bro, I ain't gonna lie, bro. That look cool as hell, bro. So you know I had to run to my kitchen and try to make it. So I bought me a whole lot of Oreos and bro, I had to separate the Oreos and the icing. And bro, it literally took me over two hours just to separate the two. But after I got done separating, I went ahead and I put the Oreos inside of a bag and then I started smashing up the Oreo. After I got done smashing up the Oreos, I went ahead and I poured them inside of a bowl and then I added some eggs to it and I went ahead and I just started mixing it up until it just looked like mud. Then I went ahead and I put that thing on a baking pan and I threw that thing in the oven and I let it bake for a little minute. After it got done baking, I went ahead and I added some icing to it and then I threw another giant Oreo on top of it. Bro, this thing is huge, bro. Let me see if I can pick it up, bro. Bro, when I try to pick it up, bro, the Oreo broke apart, bro. Bro, this thing is a giant mess, bro. No cap. Alright, y'all, so I keep getting recommended these marshmallows on my page, and bro, I ain't gonna lie, bro, them marshmallows look good as hell, bro, cause, bro, they ain't no regular type of marshmallow, man, these things look like a damn cake, so I went ahead and I went on the website, and I ordered me some, cause, you know, I wanted to try some, and, bro, it took a whole month for me to get my order, but when I got my order, bro, I went ahead and I grabbed the sprinkle one, and I went ahead and tried it. Why is it whenever I take a bite out of a marshmallow, it feels like I'm taking a bite out of a sponge? So, um, I didn't really like that marshmallow. I went ahead and I got me another one to see if my opinion would change about it. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, y'all. I'm not a big fan of marshmallows. Like, they're not nasty, but I don't like the texture of it, bro. Take this as your sign to go and buy the double stuffed Oreos but what from the, the hell? store. So you can make these giant chocolate chip cookies stuffed with an Oreo in the center, perfect with a tall glass of cold milk, and they're so impressive looking. Bro, I'm not gonna lie, but that shit look good as hell, man. I wanna go make it. So I went ahead and went to my kitchen. I grabbed me some Oreos, and then I got some cookie dough, and I wrapped the Oreo with cookie dough. And I went ahead and I threw that thing in the oven for a minute, and I let it cook. But when it got done, bro, I ain't gonna lie, man. This thing look valid, bro. Bro. When I ate it, bro. Wow, I'm not gonna lie, bro. This is really good, bro. You get the best of what both worlds, bro. You get a, 
chocolate chip cookie, and you get an Oreo. Bro, that thing was so good that I had to dump it in some milk and see what it tastes like. Oh my God. Wow. It's amazing, bro. It is amazing, bro. Oh my God, it is amazing. Did you know that Domino's has a secret hack that gives you 40% off on a medium or large pizza? Me neither. But according to Jordan, who's the president of the Fast Food Secret Club, he said if you order your pizza online and get it as a carryout, and you add three toppings to a large pizza, and you use this code, you can get 40% off. And if you want a medium pizza, all you gotta do is just add five toppings, and use this code, and you can get 40% off. Bro, I went ahead and I tried that in May. It actually worked, bro. Bro, I got $9 off my pizza, bro. I went ahead and I went to go pick it up, and I tried it. This thing was 40% off and it tastes amazing. Alright, y'all, so today I went to Bucky's for the first time, and bro, this is the biggest gas station I've ever seen in my life, bro. Bro, it was damn near as big as Walmart, bro. Like, damn, bro, it was packed in there, bro. Bro, this was the most packed gas station I've ever been to, bro. But, anyways, so I went ahead and I got me this hamburger, and I also got me this jelly donut. I went ahead and I unwrapped my hamburger, and it was like a sloppy Joe type of burger. Bro, when I ate it, bro, Charlie, bro, this thing messy as hell. No cap, though? Tastes pretty good. No cap. After I got done eating that sloppy joe, I went ahead and I tried my donut jelly thing. No cap, bro? This thing is pretty good. Like, bro, it got jelly in between it, in between. And, bro, it's not too sweet, bro. So, so it don't taste like diabetes. And I like that. Why is some young sauce and watermelon so good together? Huh? Did she just put hot sauce on some watermelon? Let me try it, bro. Let me try it. Let me not judge it before I try it. Let me try it. So I went ahead and I went to my kitchen and I grabbed my watermelon. Then I grabbed my hot sauce. And I went ahead and I poured the hot sauce on the watermelon. And then I went ahead and tried it. Hold on. Hold on. Why is this good? Why is this all good? Bro, it tastes like Mexican candy. I'm not gonna lie. Here's how to get free donuts from Dunkin' huh? and Krispy Kreme. National Donut Day. On Friday, June 2nd, Krispy Kreme will give you a free donut of choice with no purchase Bruh. necessary. And Dunkin' will give you a free classic donut with a pr Bruh. Free donuts? Say less, bro. Say less, bro. I gotta go give you some. So I went ahead and I went to Dunkin' Donut and I got me a free donut. You feel me, bro? When I ate it, bro, it tasted amazing. Cause don't nothing taste better than free. After that, I went ahead and I went to Krispy Kreme and bro, the line was long as hell, bro. Bro, the line went all the way across the block, bro. Bro, the line was so long that this woman offered to let us cut. But I had to pay her. So I went ahead and I cashed after 20 bucks. And I went ahead and I went to go grab my donuts, bro. When I ate it, bro, it tasted amazing. Because don't nothing tastes better than free. So today I was going on TikTok and I seen this person make this fruit bowl candy, whatever it is, bro. I ain't gonna lie, man. That thing look good as hell. So you know I had to go ahead and run to my kitchen and try to make it. So I went ahead and I got me this mango and I went ahead and cut it. Then I went ahead and I put it inside my bowl. And I went ahead and I added some pomegranates in there. Then I added some gushes in there too. And I went ahead and I started putting some thyme in there, you feel me? Then I started adding some chamoy in there. Bro, I ain't gonna lie, bro. When I got done making it, bro, it look good as hell, bro. Bro, when I ate it, bro. And so many different tastes. One moment is sour, next moment is sweet. God damn, pig, bro. God, there's too many different tastes in this. Here's how to make the best Nutella milkshake. Add softened Ooh. ice cream, Nutella, and milk to a blender and blend Nutella until Nutella milkshake. Break the edges down halfway if needed and blend again. It should look something like this. Pipe melted Nutella around the edge of a glass, then pour in your milkshake. It's super thick and tastes so good. Let me know what other flavors you think I should make. And I ain't gonna lie, man. I wanna try that. Real shit. So I went ahead and I ran to my kitchen and I tried to make it. I went ahead and I got me some ice cream and I threw it in the blender. Then I got me some Nutella and I threw it in the blender as well. After that, I went ahead and I added some milk to it and then I went ahead and I blended. But when they got done blending, bro, I went ahead and I put it inside of a cup and then I went ahead and tried it. Mmm. Ooh. Oh, damn. Oh, yeah. This shit good as fuck, man. Alright, y'all, so I was going on TikTok and I saw this girl make this s'mores cookies. Bro, no cap, bro. 
that look amazing, bro. You know I had to run to my kitchen and try to make it. So I went ahead and I threw a cracker on the thing. Then I added a Hershey chocolate to it. And then I added some marshmallow to it. And then I went ahead and put the cookie dough on it. And then I threw that thing in the oven and I baked it for a couple minutes. But when they got done, bro, I went ahead and I ate it. But I'm not gonna lie, bro. This cookie is good as hell. No cap. All right, y'all, so time's going on TikTok, and I seen this dude make this hot dog pizza. Bro, I ain't gonna lie, but that shit look good as hell, man. You know I had to run to my kitchen and try to make it. So the first thing that I had to do was get this hot dog and wrap bacon all around it. After that, I went ahead and I threw that hole on the stove, and I cooked it. After it got done cooking, I went ahead and I put it inside these buns. Then I went ahead and I added some marinara sauce to it. Then I added some cheese and pepperoni to it as well, and I went ahead and I threw that hole in the oven, and I let it cook for a little bit. Bro, after it got done cooking, bro, I went ahead and tried it. Hey, real talk, man. This shit pretty good. The only problem with it, bro, is like every bite, bro, you taste all the greasiness from the pepperonis and the hot dog. But besides that, though, bro, this shit, this shit pretty good, bro. No cap, bro.